Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology and the digital world. Today we're going to look at pencils. Uh, specifically, a Black Wing Volumes number 4 pencil. And uh, let me say up front a big thank you to my friend Lee, who sent me a just incredible assortment of Black Wing pencils, uh, and I um, have been enjoying all of them. And up until now, uh, I've reviewed three different Black Wing pencils here on Always Analog. The key to me is that there are basically four core, standard core values for black wings. A soft core, uh, which you would see in a standard black wing matte pencil. Uh, a What they call a balanced core, uh, which you would see in a, a black wing uh, pearl pencil, which I reviewed on Always Analog. A black wing um, uh, firm core. Uh, I believe I did volumes number 211 was a tribute to John Muir and that had a firm. And then a uh, extra firm as you might find uh, on a black wing natural. I did, I don't recall the volume number but it was the Bruce Lee tribute pencil. Um, and of course the 602 black wing that has the firm core as well. So the only core I haven't really reviewed is what we would call the soft or the matte core. And this black wing volume 4 has the soft core. So uh, that's why I really wanted to review it and because it's just a kind of a cool pencil on top of that. So here's the package. Uh, again, uh, it's, there's a sleeve around a box and has a photo of the pencil uh, right on the front. And there's a dozen in here, volumes by Blackwing. This is number four and on the back of the, on the back of the box is where sort of you get the, the nitty gritty, you get the, the information. And this one says in 2020 NASA will send a rover to Mars to search for evidence of ancient Martian life while testing technologies for future human expeditions. While the engineering designs for the rover and its various instruments are finalized in CAD, its revolutionary robotic arm and zoom-enabled cameras, the first of their kind to be sent to another planet, were first conceptualized in drawings by the team at Motive Space Systems using black wing pencils. Uh, earlier this year, Motive delivered their assemblies based on these drawings to begin integration onto the rover in 2020. They will join the Wright brothers wrapping paper sketches and Katherine Johnson's calculations as examples of the pencil's ability to help us reach the sky space and beyond. The Blackwing 4 is a tribute to Mars and the upcoming rover mission. It features a rust color lacquer and sand textured finish inspired by the surface of the fourth planet. So that's where we get the number four. It also features our first ever Dune Bronze Feral, a cream imprint and eraser, and our soft graphite. So number four, uh, sand textured finish, cream imprint, Dune Bronze Feral, cream eraser, soft graphite. This was released in December of 2018. Every Black Wing sale helps fund music and arts programs in schools. Uh, learn more at blackwingo2.com, made in Japan. So, 
there's the story behind the pencil. So we have a box here. You, we open the box and it's got this wonderful translucent overlay which is sort of a um, just a, a reminder here of our uh, of the solar system and uh, the different voyages that uh, NASA has la launched uh, over the decades uh, to various planets um, or uh, for exploration of space. So that's kind of cool. And now we get to the, 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 the pencil itself. And here it is. Palomino Blackwing 4. And there is the, what are they calling it? Dune Bronze Feral and Cream Eraser. I like the color. I mean, I do. Um, and unfortunately, this isn't going to come across quite uh, over the video. But there is a very slight, uh, noticeable, tangible grit to the paint, to the finish. It's not perfectly smooth. Uh, and so, you know, this is the sand textured finish. Uh, you do, you, you can feel it. It's there. It's very subtle. Very subtle. I, I wouldn't call it rough at all. Or even sandy, but you do you do feel a little bit of texture. So let's take a closer look at the pencil. Uh, it is uh, hexagonal, as um, most of the black wings are. I think they've only made one round one so far, uh, and the uh, ferrule is the very typical. Uh, style of the black wing ferrule uh, attached glued to the end of the pencil uh, here is our eraser which comes out can be adjusted advanced can be replaced uh, if you wanted to um, change it out I I really often see um, particularly on the uh, online people who, you know, kind of customize their black wings, which is sort of cool if that's something you want to do and make it your own. And they'll rearrange, they'll switch ferrules out, they'll change the colors of the erasers and things like that. But um, this is really the reason I chose the this particular black wing volume and that is for that soft core so we could get an idea of how the black wing soft core performs so I'm going to get this pencil sharpened and we will do some writing with our black wing volumes 4 Let's sharpen this up here wonderful cedar smell which is characteristic of really any black wing pencil very nice wood Okay. Oh, let's see here. All right, we've got it sharpened and we will get to writing.
Well, you can probably tell this is a quiet, dark, soft pencil. So for those of you <clears throat> who, you know, uh, really like to uh, leave a dark imprint, um, points pretty, points halfway gone already, just on what I have put on the paper. So, uh, but I mean, I think that's not a surprise. Very quiet, very smooth, buttery. Mm-hmm. So, um, before I get to <clears throat> trying our erasability, I'm going to put a little better point on this, okay, because it has, from what I wrote here, pretty much took it down to, um, a very blunt end on the graphite. It's bold. I know a lot of people like to draw with these pencils. I can understand why. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It's a smudger, for sure. Yep. It's a smudger. Uh, just kind of what we would expect from a pencil this soft, uh, this dark. Hard to say. I don't know how. They don't scale these, but this really is like a, probably a, I don't know, 5B, 6B, maybe? I don't know. Somewhere between a 4 and a 6B, I would say. Let's try erasing. Pencils this dark are a challenge with, for an eraser, anyways. Um, the attached eraser does a pretty lackluster job that may or may not be the fault of the eraser as much as it is the depth of the graphite let's try a pentel better okay attached eraser the pentel while there's still a slight shadowing, um, it did erase it much, much better. We'll try a Mars. How about that? How's there that for a tie-in? A Mars plastic eraser. See how that does since we're 
we got a Mars pencil. Okay, good. About about equal to uh, the Pentel. Um, how about a pink carnation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have an art gum. Oh, that did pretty good. Oh, here. Let's try this foam eraser. Wow. That now now the Look at that. The foam eraser did a number on it. This is a Milan. I think it's a 430 is the number. Okay. What else we got in here? Magic rub. Oh, what else? Here is a Nataraj eraser. Okay. All right. So if you have the right eraser, you can erase this pencil fairly, fairly well for its darkness. Um, don't don't rely too much on the eraser that's on the pencil. Uh, I will also say, yeah, I guess in the eraser's defense, the attached eraser's defense, uh, these came out in 2018. It's now 2022. So a few years have passed. So maybe it's starting to dry out a little bit. I don't know. But... we want to give it sort of a grade here. I'd say a B minus overall. Again, depends on the eraser. Uh, but <clears throat> uh, it does look the, the attached eraser and I think I'd, I would be willing to bet that the attached eraser probably never did a really a great job. Uh, I'm going back to the sharpener. So there you are. All right, we'll do a little bit more writing. It is a really a lovely pencil to write with.
There's my point, or lack thereof. Okay, well, uh, point retention, no. This is a frequent sharpener, <clears throat> but in exchange for doing all that sharpening, you will get a very dark, rich, bold, smooth, velvety, quiet, writing experience. Uh, one that will smudge, so left-handers beware. Uh, one that is erasable, uh, but not in a great way. Uh, very dependent on the eraser you have at hand. But this is the Blackwing Soft Graphite in action. So, again, thank you, Lee, for sharing these pencils with me. I really think they're beautiful. I love the color very much. Uh, and I love writing with it. And I thank all of you for spending time with me and watching. Uh, if you like what's going on here, please share, like, and subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon, right here on Always Analog.